Uh, a lot of this wood came from, um, it was cut with permit of course, but where you've got a, a fence line that you're supposed to put through and it's got large trees growing up over a hundred years, you get a permit, you're allowed to clear it. But unfortunately what a lot of farmers do because of the economics involved, they push it into a heap like what's behind me over there and uh, it's just burned on site. There are thousands of tons of, of wood, tons of wood just burned because of the what else can they do with it? There's more wood than they ever want and uh, it's, it's expensive to, to take it out and process it to the point where people can put it in their own fire in their own house or even in the suburbs. So uh, the economics of wood collecting make it a very very expensive commodity. Uh, around here you'll get red gum from 75 to 95 dollars a metre. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some claim theirs is better and worth more of course but who knows. Um, in Melbourne it's nothing to pay $100 to $120 a cubic metre for wood like this, of course split ready for burning. In other places it's up to $200 a cubic metre.